What's up everyone, me JP2 here, and in today's video, taking a look at a new Shadow Pokemon, uh, Shadow Toxicroak. Now Toxicroak does have access to Sludge Bomb, which I thought would be fun because it is a fighting type, so I would not be surprised if people send in like Azumarils or stuff. So if I have Sludge Bomb, it just means I can hit them for absolutely massive damage. So I really wanted to see if, if I can land a few Sludge Bombs. Now Toxicroak is extremely glassy especially in its shadow form so i wasn't really expecting to have many wins with this team but i actually got a ton of wins so i actually was able to go positive in terms of elo with this granted i was at pretty low elo but since i was able to climb i was able to have some fun with this team anyways that's pretty much it let's get to the battles all right so into the first battle and we lead toxicroak into azumarill and that's our target now Toxicroak will make it to a Sludge Bomb after 8 counters, so they will outpace us by a single turn. I'm fine with shielding though, and I should be able to make it to plenty of Sludge Bombs, but I do decide to bait them because I do think they'll shield, and they do. So with that bait, I'll now be able to outpace them to another Sludge Bomb, and if they choose to shield this, then I'll be able to make it to a third Sludge Bomb before they're able to make it to another Ice Beam. Now Sludge Bomb should take them out with the added counter range, but I am wary of a catch, they actually don't end up catching though, so it's fine. And Sludge Bomb takes out the Azu. They then send in Defense Form Deoxys and they get the perfect farm down. Now, the energy is not too useful against Skarmory unless they're running Thunderbolt. And it doesn't look like they are. They then send in Registeel and we can just send in Quagsire. Quagsire will easily be able to take out Registeel and they have a move here. Now this is way too early to be a focus left and they're actually running Flash Cannon. So, not the most the most usual moveset, but all, all is fine, because we're going to take this game. Now we're going to be able to go for a Stone Edge. Stone Edge will do more damage than one Mod Bomb, and we shouldn't be able to make it to another move if they throw, so the Stone Edge is the better option. Now, they're going for a Rock Slide that doesn't even take out Cloth Quagsire, and one more Sky Attack from Skarmory will be enough to take out this Defense Form Deoxys, and we're able to take that game. Next battle, we lead Toxicroak into Obstagoon, and look at the counter damage, it's insane. The opponent then sends in Azumarill, I'm going for a Sludge Bomb just cause I, this is a free shield basically. And now I can send in Skarmory, and Skarmory should comfortably be able to take care of Azumarill. They go for a Hydro Pump though, that does a lot of damage, and now we should be in Play Rough range, or Ice Beam range. Hopefully I can make it to two more Sky Attacks, and the first one goes gets no shielded, but they do make it to another one. Now, this Ice Beam or Play Rough will take us out, so I do have to shield it. And now, if they want to, they could probably just commit both shields and farm me down. But I actually am able to get a farm down myself right before. And Flash Cannon will get shielded by the Obstagoon, but now they don't have any shields left. They're gonna be going for a move here. Toxicroak does tank it, and then they send in Tangrowth. And yeah, it is Sludge Bomb time. Sludge Bomb basically fully one shots of Tangrowth, and we farm down the Obstagoon, and we take that game. Into the next battle, we lead Toxicroak into Skarmory. This is not ideal, but it's fine in overall because counter does a lot of damage. Both of our charge moves are resisted, so that isn't good. So I'm gonna switch out into Quagsire, and the opponent sends in Hypno. Now, I'm pretty glad to be seeing the Hypno here instead of onto Toxicroak, because Confusion just I think Confusion will 3-shot Toxicroak, which is insane. I go for two Mud Bombs. The opponent doesn't even throw yet, and now they're going for a move. Thunder Punch doesn't do much, so it looks like they are probably running Thunder Punch and Fire Punch or something. That would be my best guess. And they are, as they go for a Fire Punch. Now I can send in Skarmory, get a nice little farm down, and the opponent sends in a Quagsire. Now Quagsire, it's better to see it on Skarmory, because Toxicroak will get hit for super effective by the mud bomb but skarmory will still be taking neutral from stone edge which isn't ideal but if the opponent does not farm up to another stone edge here so i can no shield it it's an aqua tail and skarmory tanks it now i'll be able to go for sky attack sky attack gets another shield and the opponent probably could have farmed down there but they choose not to which is all the better now i'm gonna be able to make it to a mud bomb but i am choosing to over farm a bit and Stone Edge from the Quagsire will get shielded, and I do just get a full farm down. Now, it all depends on whether we can make two Mud Bombs, and that looked like a CMP tie. 
the opponent actually threw. If they had just gone for a steel wing, this probably would have taken us out. But we live one steel wing, and we're able to make it to a mud bomb, and we're able to take that game because the opponent chose to, to throw. We see Marsh Tomp on the lead in the next battle, and while I probably could just counter all the way through them by giving up two shields, it doesn't seem like the best idea, so I switch out into my Quagsire. Now, they can throw a Surf, I'll tank one, and I'm going to be going for a Mud Bomb. Now, the opponent shields it, so I'm guessing they have something in the back that doesn't want to see Quagsire, and so I'm going to shield the Surf and go for another Mud Bomb. Now, Mud Bomb would do some okay damage, because the opponent does shield that as well. At this point, I'm just happy to take my shield advantage, because I do think that Toxicroak with one shield might even be able to fully farm them down. Now, we're going to be shielding up this move because Mud Bomb would do a ton of damage, and I'm going to try and go for a farm down. I get nervous though and switch into Skarmory, and I get the Snipe, but I think I could have gotten a farm down. Now, the opponent sends in their own Skarmory, and unless they're running Brave Bird, they can't really hit me very well, and I can't really hit them very well either, but that's fine because I am up energy, so I should win this. They're running Flash Cannon as well. Um, please note that I'm not running Flash Cannon because I want to. I'm running it because I don't have any charge TMs left because of the rocket event. But I figured it's not half bad because if there's like a car bank or something, I can at least take care of it. Now the switch clock comes up. I switch into Tox Croak and just get the snipe. And they have Snorlax in the back. And this game is just over. Sludge Bomb hits for huge damage. And two more counters take them out. Into the next battle, we lead Toxicroak into a Malamar, and the Psycho Cuts just will tear through Toxicroak, so I have to immediately switch out into Skarmory. The opponent counter switches Clodsire, and that is not a response to Skarmory. So it looks like they are probably ABB weak to Skarmory, so it looks like their backline just does not like Skarmory, but Malamar can't really do anything against it either, so they might just be triple weak to it, I'm not sure. They could have just misclicked, though. I'm not sure, but either way, we'll have back-to-back -back sky attacks here. I undercharge it slightly because I should be able to get a farm down, and even though they do have a move here, it's not going to be doing too much. Megahorn doesn't do much. We get a farm down, and we have a flash can to throw into whatever they bring in. They sent back in the Malamar, though, and they would win charge attack priority, but I'm willing to shield because I should be able to get a shield back with the sky attack, and I'll be able to make it to another one, and this one might get a shield back. I'm not sure but they actually do. That's perfect. They then switch out into Lapras, and I can just send in Toxicroak, and look at the counters go. Lapras is actually fairly bulky, so these counters are shredding through it, showing just how much damage this thing outputs. They send back in the Malamar, but we have a Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb will take out the Malamar, and we're able to take that game. We see Bastiodon in the next battle. The opponent immediately switches out into Talonflame, and I send it in Quagsire. Now, the opponent, I'm, I'm fully expecting them to commit both shields to try and flip this, and that means I am completely willing to send both shields as well, because I need to see the counters land on a Bastiodon. Now, the opponent throws on alignment, it's not that hard to do when you're an incinerate user, but now I do think I have to bait, because they will make it to a move before I make it to two stone edges. We do get the shield, and that means we can land a stone edge, this Stone Edge will obliterate Talonflame, just annihilate the thing. And then they send in another Lapras. Now, this Stone Edge is going to do a lot of damage. The opponent doesn't really have much left to do anymore. They, they can throw a move into Skarmory, but this game's basically over, unless I misplay and let the Bastiodon make it to a move. Look at the counters go, though. That's absolutely insane. Mud Bomb will hit for double super effective as well, which will just take out the Bastiodon. And the Lapras is way too low. I'm ready to take that game. We see Umbreon on the lead in the next battle. And that's another good lead. Now the opponent, I expect them to switch out. And they do. They switch out into Galarian Rapidash. And we just have Skarmory to shut it down. I'm pretty sure every single move that Galarian Rapidash learns is resisted by Skarmory. So there's just no reason for me to shield here. Now, Body Slam, not going to be doing much. And they then send in a Bastion. Spatchedon looks like it's running Iron Tail for some reason, though. It's kind of weird. But we have Flash Cannon, and Iron Tail's actually resisted, so it does work in our favor. And this Flash Cannon number two lose some nice damage. The opponent actually realizes they have to throw here, so they're good to go for a Stone Edge. Now, I can send in Toxicroak and just farm him down. 
and the Umbreon just has nothing. They can't do much because I have two shields. I can just commit both shields and just go for a fast move beatdown of the Umbreon because these counters are just shredding through it. Now, foul play, going to get shielded, and the Umbreon will not make it to another move, and we're able to take that game. We see Frost last and lead in the next battle, and I'm going to switch immediately into Skarmory. It is my harder counter, but I do need to make sure I can get some nice stealing damage off. And then they send in Probo Pass. Flash Cannon is actually nice here because the opponent probably was not expecting that. And the Probo Pass goes for a Magnet Bomb. I can shield that. I thought it was a Thunderbolt. That's why I shield it. But now I am down a shield. But I, I have Switch. And this Flash Cannon will grab a shield. I wanted to make sure I just take him out if they weren't careful. So it's fine. Now I'm going to just no shield this. Avalanche will take us out. And I can send in Quagsire. And they're just low enough that we should be able to take care of them with a Mud Bomb. Now the opponent sends in Hisui and Electrode. So this might have been a Hisui Cup Pokemon team that like they accidentally entered the wrong league with. But now Mud Bomb is going to be taking out the Electrode. And the opponent, their only hope is a farm down. But we get the Simul KO and they're able to take that game. See Jellicent lead in the next battle. Pretty terrible lead because Skarmory does not like seeing Jellicent either. The opponent's staying in. So, kind of weird, but I'll take it because I do need to get some Mud Bomb damage off onto this thing. Now, Mud Bomb number one gets some nice damage. The Mud Shots do get them into the yellow, and I'm going to throw right before they make it to another move. This Mud Bomb gets no shielded as well. And I'm willing to commit a shield here because Quagsire should be able to get a shield back since I have a Stone Edge. So, I do think it is an okay investment. Now, I'm going to go for a Mud Bomb into the ferrothorn that comes in and while it isn't the best seeing ferrothorn into quagsire toxic croak certainly loves to see it and i will be able to make it to back-to-back -back mud bombs into this into this quadsire that the opponent brings in they shield the first one and this is i think they farmed up seven this shouldn't be an earthquake it is only a stone edge and i immediately send in skarmory banking that extra mud bomb because i feel i'll need it later the opponent goes for stone edge and yeah, since this Clawsire does have Stone Edge, it's not, it's not as good of a matchup as it was before, but Sky Attack still will do some nice damage, so it should be fine. The opponent can go for another Stone Edge. Stone Edge will not do much. And then they send in the Ferrothorn trying for a Snipe. They go for a Power Whip. Power Whip still doesn't take out Skarmory. Skarmory is just insane. And take out the Ferrothorn, and we switch into Toxicroak. That Mud Bomb does come in handy. Take out the Clodzire, and we're able to take that game. See Toxicroak into Annihilate in the next battle. Now, this isn't the best because, well, counters from the Annihilate are resisted. Um, our counters are double resisted. So, it's just not as good because they're taking even less damage from our counters. They go for an Ice Punch. Ice Punch barely doesn't take out Toxicroak. It's on like 1 HP. And they're going to go for an Ice Punch. Now... Annihilate is going to switch out into Galarian Stunfisk, and it, this isn't good, Skarmory's hard-walled, but on the bright side, Quagsire should be able to do pretty well into Stunfisk in the back. Now, Rock Slide will not take out Skarmory, and I should be able to make it to a move here, but the opponent decides to throw, and I was trying to make it to a Flash Cannon because it would do more, but since the opponent throws, that's fine, because now they're energy dry. They don't farm up to an Earthquake here, so I'm no shielding. Rock Slide does not do too much. Now I'm going to farm up a ton and I'm going to go for a Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb from this range probably would take them out, but the opponent shields. Now, this is only a Rock Slide from them though, so I don't see a reason to shield. Now, I will be able to make it to back-to-back -back Mud Bomb, so the opponent should not be shielding here. They let it go, and then they send in Jump Bluff, and this game actually looks winnable. I just need to make it to three Stone Edges, because I'm not trying to bait here. Now the opponent is going to go for an Aerial Ice. I was hoping they weren't going to be running aerial ace because that's the cheaper move i farm up a lot and the opponent's going to go for another aerial ace i'm going to need a catch to win but now i'm going to farm up and i go for the stone edge but the opponent makes a catch they perfectly catch the stone edge and i just can't win this game S stone edge from quagsire will not take out jump Bluff, and i need to catch an aerial ace i fail to catch and the opponent has a move here any move would take us out from this range aerial ace takes us out and we lose that game 
We lead Toxicorgon to Machamp in the next battle. This is a very, very good lead because Machamp is hard walled. Toxicroak resists everything. The problem is Toxicroak is so freaking glassy that we still have to shield a charge remove because even though our counters are hitting for neutral, they're almost able to keep pace in terms of damage. The opponent sends in Ampharos, and I'm hoping it can make it to two Mud Bombs, but I don't think I'll be able to, so I'm going to probably just throw a counter and switch out, and I'm able to defer the full switch. The opponent's going for a move here. If this is Trailblaze, Quagsire is gone. They go for a Zap Cannon. Quagsire tanks that, but like, not very well. Mud Bomb will take out the Ampharos, and what do they have in the back? In the back, they have Galarian Weezing, and despite being debuffed, Mud Bomb, two of them should take out the Weezing. So this game is basically over because they're not being, they're not going to be able to farm us down. Mud Bomb number two will take out the Weezing, and we're able to take that game. We lead Toxicroak into Lantern in the next battle, and this is a very just neutral lead overall. Because while we are able to hit for super effective with Mud Bomb, Toxicroak's just so glassy that basically it's going to do the same amount of damage as the Mud Bomb would do to the Lantern. So I'm going to have to shield in return. Now, the opponent might try and catch, I'm not sure, but it looks like they're just happy to stay in CMP tie, and Mudbomb is going to get shielded again. Now, the thing is, I can commit a shield here, and I will be able to fully farm the noun. The opponent sends in Talonflame. Now, if they're running Brave Bird, we could just straight up lose, because Quagsire could be just destroyed, and Skarmory couldn't really do much into the Talonflame, even when they were debuffed. Thankfully, it was only a fly, and we're able to knock out the Talonflame with the Stone Edge, and the opponent then sends in Vigoroth. Now, Vigoroth is going to be able to hit for neutral into Skarmory, but since they can't hit for any same type of attack bonus damage into Skarmory, they're not going to be able to do too much. Now, we're going to be able to go for a uh, no shield on the rock slide. What am I talking about? We have no shields, but I'm able to send in Toxicroak, hit the farm down, and we get the farm down of the Lantern as well, and we're able to take that game. We lead Toxicroak into Empoleon in the next battle, and look at the counter damage. It's absolutely insane. We've just fully farmed them down before they even make it to a move. They then send in a Charm user. I didn't see exactly what one it was, but Sludge Bomb would have just destroyed that Whimsicott, but Skarmory can also take out that Whimsicott. Now they're going to be able to just fully farm them down. Well, they do make it to a move. We're just going to be able to tank that very easily, and Grass Knot's not, not going to do too much. And now they send in a Pokemon, and I'm going for a Flashkin. It's actually an Annihilate, so going for the Flashkin is a bit of a misplay, but since we have Quagsire and two shields, we're fine. This Mud Bomb will just get them into the yellow, and one more Mud Bomb will take them out, so I can even no shield here because they have to go for a Shadow Ball, which would mean they're energy dry. But they just go for the Ice Punch, but Mud Bomb will take them out, and there's just not much the Limsicott can do. They get the full farm down. But Skarmory is able to farm them down in return. We're able to take that game. We lead Tox Croak into Gligar in the next battle. This is awful. I switch out into Skarmory, but there's not much of anything we can do here. They send in Charge Bug, and they're not even running Volt Switch. But there's still not too much. They shield the Sky Attack, but unfortunately, I don't even think there's much we can do here. They bait with an X Scissor. And now, I was trying to make it look like I had a Brave Bird. But since I don't, I don't know the Steel Wing counts on it but they're just able to go for a Discharge and take me out. Now, they are going to just be responded to with Quagsire, and Quagsire will be able to take out this Charger Bug, but in the back it's Mantine, and this game looks like it's pretty much over. They shield the Stone Edge, but I can shield in return, but if this is a Bubble Beam, we'll get debuffed. Fortunately, it's not a Bubble Beam, but even if I'm able to land the Stone Edge, Mantine is very bulky, and Stone Edge does a lot of damage, but I'm going to need to no shield this because I want to save a shield for Quagsire. And Aerial Ace just does way too much damage. We get the simultaneous KO. The opponent sends back in the Charge Bug. And we lose CMP as well. And that's just game over. I decide to let the move go through and we lose that game. We lead Toxicroak into Metachamp in the next battle. And this isn't ideal because Metachamp outbulks Toxicroak even if counters are resisted on both ends. Sludge Bomb will hit for a lot of damage though, the opponent does shield because of that. Now I will be able to just no shield this, and Skarmory should take care of the Metacham. They go for an Ice Punch, and they get the farm down, which is unfortunate, but we're just going to be able to send in Skarmory. Skarmory should 
be pretty good at walling the energy from Metacham, even if it's going to be able to hit for neutral. So, well, it's not really walling, I guess, but it doesn't matter. They're actually running Dynamic Punch, though, and this doesn't look good anymore because Skarmory's gotten way too low. We just have to pray that whatever they have in the back is weak to Quagsire. And they send in Empoleon, and we switch into Quagsire, and they're not switching out. They shield the Mud Bomb. And now, the opponent does make a nice catch on the Venusaur, but hopefully they can make another Mud Bomb, but Quagsire is way too low. While we do make it to another Mud Bomb, a Waterfall will take us out, and it does look like we're just going to lose with two shields in play. Skarmory gets farmed down, and we lose that game. To the next battle, we lead Toxorg into another Obstagoon. This time, the opponent immediately switches out into a Shadow Golbat, and I'm not going to be surprised if this opponent fights Tooth and Nail for Switch, and they go for a Shadow Ball. Now, I'm going to be going for a Sky Attack here, but the nice thing is, even if they land a Poison Fang and the Wing Attacks, they still will not take us out, because Skarmory is bulky, and it double resists that stuff. Poison Fang, double resisted, and we will make it to another Sky Attack. The opponent, I know they don't want Obstagoon aligned against Toxkirk, but being down two shields is probably worse, so they just let it go. They then send in Shadow Swamper, and this game's just looking to be over. They're going to be going for a Hydro Cannon, I tank one at least, and now I'm going to be going for a Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb will do some nice damage or get a shield. The opponent actually caught it on the Obstagoon though, but we just get a full farm down. And the opponent, it looks like they force quit the app because they probably realized Swampert's just getting fully countered through. And yeah, looks like they did force quit the app. We're able to take the game though, and that's nice. We lead Toxtork into Registeel in the next battle. This is another lead I wanted to see. Now they switched out into Azumarill, and this was one of the times where I just saw the Fairy type and panic switched immediately into Skarmory. But this still isn't the best of battles for Skarmory because they can hit for neutral into us as well. And they're running Hydro Pump again. Now it does look like they can probably just shield once and take switch, but I'm not that irritated by that because Quagsar also does very well in the Registeel, and so hopefully we're going to be able to take this game regardless. They go for another Hydro Pump into Quagsar, so they're getting a lot of mileage out of this Azu, but I'm able to bank a Mud Bomb and then switch into Toxicroak. Now the opponent sends in Metacham, and yeah, Sludge Bomb will still hit for huge damage. Now, I will be shielding. I don't care if this is a power-up punch. I just I just don't want to get hit by anything more. It is a power-up punch, though. And I don't care if this is another power-up punch. Because Registeel is a much bigger threat. The opponent tries to catch on to Registeel, though. And now I'm going to be able to go for a Mud Bomb into the Registeel. And I thought I could farm down, but I, I was wrong. Now, they're going to be going for a Focus Blast, which will take out my, uh, my, uh, Toxicroak. Sorry. And... Metacham is pretty healthy, but we have two Mud Bombs, and despite me making a pretty big misplay, we're still able to take that game. Overall, Shadow Toxicroak is honestly pretty fun. Like, it is pretty glassy, but it is one of the glassier counter users, and since its poison fighting type is pretty unique, like, there's also, like, Sneasler and stuff, but it's not a very common type. So, it is fun to use. And it having be the ability to take neutral from charm gives it a pretty nice advantage into fairies versus, like, the other fighting types. So, I do think that's nice. Now, I do want to see what this thing does if you run Poison Jab on it instead, or even Mud Shop. But that is a topic for another video. So, maybe I'll cover that soon. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.